So, Josh. Yes? Are you ready? Dude, I was born ready. Born ready for what? I was born ready to press start and use the left stick to move this to the top left corner. Oh, sorry I'm late, guys. Right I was corner. just calibrating my screen. Really? Yeah. But are you ready? Like, look at these game modes. We got I was also ready for the game modes. I was also ready to quick game. And I was also ready for the start of the game and uh, whatever the hell that I even said. I don't even know. It's a it's a very interactive main menu. I, I kind of like this menu system, although it looks like it takes a long time to get from point A to point B. Yeah, like, what if you just, like, wanted to start the game right now? You can't do that. You gotta go through the whole menu. Literally 90% of the development process of this game was spent on the main menu. The movement controls has a whole thing dedicated to the left stick and the left trigger. Like, could they not color code this shit? Like, I just don't understand. They can't have, like, a picture of, like, the Xbox controller and have, like, the little icons beside each... Each button that tells you what you do. Oh man, it's it's an adventure. Dude, you better best press like the left bumper to boost. Or no, jump. I, I, yeah, I did. I definitely went for boost. Oh yeah. Okay, first things first. You see all these rocks flying flying all over. No, oh, those are asteroids. Asteroid they're, clone. They're Get asteroids. ready. Three, two, one, go. So we're the green ship. I actually thought those asteroids affected us. They're literally there for aesthetic purposes. Which is good, because otherwise this looks like Ghostbusters 2. So what kills you? Okay, you've got the different uh, alien saucer ships. There's the yellow, the teal, the purple. The purple which blends in <laughs> almost with the background. Um, and you've got the fiery... I don't even know what you call them. They're like... Uh, it's funny I'm, because I know exactly like what renders that they use in the background for this exact purpose. Uh, yeah, Filter what they did render is, clouds, and then you know you just do the light source, and then you're golden. Google.com Photoshop tutorials. Purple Two thousand. You mean Photoshop Elements? Uh, no, I I could have done this in Photoshop Seven when I was in tenth grade. Actually, technically, any Adobe product you can download thirty days for free. So, it could you know it could have been Photoshop. Uh, what is it? CS? Uh, a studio, a studio of this magnitude, has the product key, guaranteed. Right, right. Yeah. All right, here it goes. Level two. You ready? That uh, not actually. These these fucking huge uh, asteroids look like. You know, Chips Ahoy cookies. You know, I played a lot of Asteroids in my day. One thing I thought Asteroids definitely did not need was a health bar. No. Basically, Asteroids was you get hit once, you die. Yeah. What yeah, I don't understand five. is why do these flaming Asteroids follow you, and when they connect, like, with your carcass, they don't blow you up. Yeah, my, my main complaint as I watch this is that the, there's no indication that you're getting hit, even when though you are getting hit. Yeah. It's because the flaming asteroids are actually trying to mate with you. Oh, this is a sequel to Spermatazoon. The flaming asteroids are your buddies just, like, you know, hanging out, like, throwing, like, a couple beer pongs across, like, the table, or what? Hey, man, we heard you were in this galaxy, and oh, sorry, bro! <laughs> I didn't mean to cramp your style, dude, but I uh, just wanted to hang out for a little bit. This game rocks. You get it? Sorry. You better press yeah, the bumper to exchange. It. What do you What do you think these asteroids are made out of? Titanium galloy? Wow. Probably like Han Solo carbonite. That doesn't make sense. It might. It might. Makes a little bit more sense than titanium galloy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you know what you're talking about. I'm Owen Wilson. I'm a geologist in the movie Armageddon. You read Tartologist. Did you That's just blow up a, a black profession. hole a couple seconds ago? Oh, those black holes are big asteroids. Don't There's... give me shit. Black there holes might be too exist. many lens flares on this map for me. I I, I can't concentrate. Yeah, one, one is too many. Flare. Yeah. That's like the nearest <clears> star <throat> to our solar system. Four trillion, no, four light years away. 2010, a new threat combining the worst parts of asteroids and geometry wars. 
Geometry War, don't insult that game. Like, I said the, the worst great. parts of it. The worst parts of it. What's the worst parts of it? That you move around? That, that's probably one of my favorite it parts. It could be, it. like, every worst part of it. All wrapped into one bad shell. Yeah, I, you know, the worst part of this game is just that there's <clears> the <throat> very small asteroids and the slightly larger asteroids that have literally no effect on the gameplay at all. It just, just doesn't make sense, like, compared to, like, the original asteroids, you know, everything in sight, like, hurts you. In this game, anything, like, below your sides doesn't even, like, matter well, at all. You guys, it's called t 2010, a new threat. Like, asteroids, those were the old threat. What's the new threat? <laughs> the new threat is <laughs> Chips Ahoy see, and Oreos. As we see, like, Mike Fox plummet into his doom. Yeah, the new threat is that you kill yourself on these big Oreo cookies over here. Uh, so, okay, first of all, you guys all agree that we should never play this game ever again? Oh, definitely, wholeheartedly. I mean, what I... What should you play instead? Play, play the original Asteroids, it's still good. It, actually, it is better than this game. Or Download be... Windows ME, download Asteroids, and you will be happier. You know, I could verify that while I had a horrific time with ME, it was better than this shit. Yeah. Peace out, guys. Later. All right. Thanks, guys.